Hey guys, and welcome back to Tormented Souls, where we last left off. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, oh yeah, we just unlocked a whole new area, if memory serves. So, they say a whole new area. Uh, we found kind of a new area. That we haven't... Ex ooh. Oh, a diary. Uh, hey, achievement unlocked. Love. Oh, right. Because we've got all of these. Okay. So, 15th of September, 1980. William, they have taken the girls. Father put a sedative in my drink. But luckily I realised before swallowing it. I tricked him into believing that I was sleeping soundly. Then I got up and crossed the hall towards the meeting room where I could see the light from under the door. I put my ear against the metal and could hear my father's voice intertwined with other men. Ooh. Everything is ready for the ritual. The Waldberger girls have been taken to the temple. Said a voice I did not know. Perfect. If everything goes as planned, I will be the next leader of the Pollock sect. And together, we'll bring our saviour back to the world, answers my father. Um, what? Okay. After that, they walked in line towards the mausoleum. I must rescue my girls. If I do not come, if I do not come back with them, I hope you can forgive me. I know that you will do what is right. I love you. So, yeah, granddaddy was a, was a bad man. To say the least. Oil painting of an archangel banishing a weapon. Oh, brandishing a weapon. Yeah, it's a pretty fucking cool picture, actually. Uh, okay, fine. Ooh. Right, well, looks like we've got a little ankle biter. Let's go take this guy out. Ah, oh, look at this camera angle we've got here. Uh, didn't quite want to waste quite so many shots. How comes we have nine left? When did we reload? Alright, well, oh, I guess she was like mid-animation. Alright, well, we're almost out of ammo, which is not fantastic. Oil painting of now. Ah, another Archangel. Cool. Is that us? Could we be described as such? Ah, hello, little small man. I don't know if we're hitting him. Ow. I need to try and conserve at least a little bit of ammo. Not that that's really going to help us now. Yeah, we need ammo badly. I mean, we've got shotgun shells, which is cool. Ooh, and morphine, apparently. We're fine. Uh, ah, we need to go back and check the fireplace as well. Oh. Oh, dear. So we need to find the correct date and the correct time. Uh, okay. Now, thinking about it, Chris said there's a fireplace that we need to check. So let's go do that. A fireplace. Is it like in the baby's room? Or one of the children's rooms or something? What was that? And this game is strange because it's literally locking to 90 FPS. Which is a very strange refresh rate. 120 I could understand. 160 I could understand. But uh, 90? That's odd. Okay. Now, 
Are we being chased here? Because we've got this weird music going. Which leads me to believe that we're potentially being chased by something. Uh, right. So. Now, where do we go? Through here? I can't open it. No. How do we get in here? Right. Okay. This takes us back to the little room. With nothing behind. Okay. Yeah, the performance of this game is all over the place. Right, let's get out of here. And trying to think where. Oh. Is that the audio cue for the pudding person? Potentially, yes. Okay. So we need to go back through the waiting room. Which was not where. That's where we woke up without our eye. Way back when. Yeah, definitely going to have to listen out for those audio cues. So that is an unkillable monster. I really don't like unkillable monsters. I was not a fan. Oh, the music. I was not a fan at all of what they did with uh, Nemesis and even Mr. X in the remakes. It just it didn't fit, really. Uh, right, so, uh, was it this way? No, we want to go the other way. So I'm guessing there's just going to be like a random chance for that pudding person to just, yeah. Can hear the sound. Yeah, and um, Reva actually mentioned that you can just exit the room, and they shouldn't be there anymore. And that, yeah, that appears to be accurate. Cool. Uh, so that leads us to the library, of which we are. Good. So that's good to know. Uh, if we do encounter her, we can just leave. I say her. I'm guessing it's a her. It had long, scraggly hair, so who knows. Yeah, we can literally just like exit the room and go back in, and it's gone kind of a lame mechanic really okay so uh, in one of these rooms there was a fireplace uh, and Chris said he noticed something to search wasn't in here See, something kind of looks like it shines there, but that's not how this game goes. Her skirt is kind of all over the place. Okay, she's not in the penthouse. Now, there was a. It was like a child's bedroom or something. Yes, ch children's room. That is so fucking cool, though. I am such a fan of that scene. Um, I guess we can't do anything else in here. I'm pretty sure we've got all the items from here, but eh, question mark. This game is quite an, a maze. Maze to navigate. 
Right, children's room. No, this is the office. So, was it the office? That there was a fireplace? Ah. Ah, a fireplace. It was recently ignited. <laughs> so that's what that is. I mean, hey, at least we checked it out, right? But, yeah. Okay. Ah. Uh, we still don't know. Oh. We still have this. Curious. Okay. We still have the key as well for the weird locked rooms. Hmm. Do we actually... Right, so that's the office. Where? Let's go back into the office. We can check the children's room again. Just to see if we do have anything. I don't think we do, though. I mean... I kind of like the idea that you can just get rid of her by leaving the rooms. Because having, like, an enemy that's just chasing you and is invincible kind of sucks donkey dick if you ask me uh right so this is the children's room yeah the, wait have we been in here yeah we have yes we definitely have okay uh, right. So, there's nothing in here that we've missed. But there is that. And we don't have anything for that. We can't, like, bop it with a hammer. Looks like we need some kind of symbol. Uh, we've still got that disc as well that I'm guessing that we do actually need. Because we wouldn't still have it, right? Okay. So I guess we're going to go back down to where we were. I mean, it was worth exploring. It's always worth exploring. God damn. It's so easy to get turned around here. It really is. Yeah, that's the way out, I think. I'm not convinced that um, I like fixed camera view games as much as I thought I did. <laughs> I mean, I'd enjoy them, but I'm not that upset that they're almost extinct. As much as I would like to still see some come out now and again. Um, yeah. I don't think I hunger for them. As I once did. So, I mean, there could potentially still be some things up here, but... We did get everything, I'm sure. I wouldn't mind finding some ammo. Doesn't look like it. We could definitely use some nails, that's for sure. And all these books on the floor look like they're really important. But I guess not. Okay. Nope. Nothing, man. Nothing at all. Uh, see, because I feel like we don't really have any items to work with. I mean, we've got a disc... Still got a stethoscope. I have literally no idea whatsoever what we could use the uh, WD for. I wish I knew about this before, that you can just leave the room. Such a cool little tip. Alright. So 
so I'm guessing that we've still got rooms that we haven't been in yet. That are going to give us items. Because I literally can't think of anywhere that we could use anything that we have currently. I mean... We, can we still use that on her? We actually can still use this. Which is kind of curious. Considering we don't need to. Alright, we're all clear in the waiting room. Go and fuck yourself, weird floaty lady. Really? I said no. Oh, come on. I don't want you in there. Really? Maybe it doesn't always work then. We like cheese her out here. So I really don't want to be dealing with her. Especially not in like tight corridors. I know it's been in here before. Well, I guess we're shit out of luck. Can we go in here? can. Hey, now it's disappeared. Sweet. Okay, so. Actually, the maternity ward. Isn't that where we needed to be? Because we need to go through the mirror there. Uh, yes. Yes, it was. There we go. Well, that took 6,000 years to get back, didn't it? I really hope they explain some of this uh, nonsense that's going on here. Like, why can we, you know, teleport through, you know, fucking... Uh, mirrors and go back in time. There has to be an explanation, right? There has to be. There has to be some way of making all that stuff make some kind of sense. If they don't, that's going to be kind of frustrating. Okay, so that leads us back to where we were. So we've gone on a little errand. And we have discovered nothing new. But we've also ruled out missing anything. So what could possibly be in here? There doesn't really appear to be anything there. I mean, there's... We need a date. Uh, but we don't know what date we need. Is it the... Maria's diary? Do we need that? 6th of June, 1963? It doesn't give us a time though, does it? Or maybe the year. Should we try 6th of June? Right, 6th of June. What about 19... Uh, so... 6 would be 18, 19... Oh no, because it's 63. There isn't 63 minutes in a minute, is there? Uh, 
Unless... 6-3? Does that do anything? I guess not. So, what other diaries do we have? Uh, unless there's something up here. There's a lot of angels here, killing people. The day of our salvation finally came. Maybe that's what we need, the day of our salvation. The day the Sprog was actually born. Oh. Ha. Right, let me go back through the notes, guys, and uh, I'll find you in a second. Okay, so I've um, had to look this one up, actually. Now, if we go over here, it says the day of our salvation finally came, and that's Jesus Christ, obviously. Now, we know our pals JC's birthday it's the 25th of December apparently so that's that um, also these paintings you've got to look at the sword or the weapon in each of these paintings and each one apparently is pointing to a number on a clock face uh, yep that's literally how you twig it. It's kind of cryptic. I mean, that one's very obvious. That one's pointing at three. Apparently, this one here, that you've got to kind of tilt your head to kind of get it, is pointing at eight. And this one here is, if you tilt your head a bit, it's kind of pointing down to six, I think. Let's give it a go anyway. So, we want 25th of December, and it was 8, uh, oh right, also, one thing I should add, is the weapon indicates like that's the big hand because that's the longest weapon so that's six that's the minute hand uh, the short hand is pointing to eight I think so that one's eight that one's six the Well, maybe these two are switched. Twenty fifth of December. Let me just double check. Uh, right. I'm pretty sure. What am I doing wrong here? Okay, hang on. So apparently, that one is. F oh, there we go. This is kind of odd. And then we got the ornamental eye made of jade, which, if we remember correctly, went in a statue and I can't bloody remember where that statue was uh, there was a statue ah wasn't it up here somewhere I'm sure it was up here somewhere right let's go back to the 
flipping. Oh, good. We're okay. We're okay. Although there's kind of like a bit of static or something here. Yeah, let's go all the bloody way back now. Kind of annoying. Not gonna lie. Uh, yeah. Oh, apparently she's here somewhere. Let's see if we can get rid of her. Come on. Oh, come on. There she is. Piss off. Oh, fuck you. God, I hate this thing. That thing is so unbelievably irritating. See, my problem with enemies like that, right? is it's not that they're scary they're just insanely irritating you know when they can just basically get free damage on you uh, all right let's use a vial of morphine yeah i'm sure the clock was here somewhere uh not the clock the bust there's a head somewhere now where was it where was it? What are we looking at there? Bedroom? Might have been in here. Dining room? Ah. Was it here? No, it wasn't. This is where we found PD. But PD's not here anymore. Look at this place. I love how detailed everything is. I really do. The old gas heater's still going. Such a charming uh, bit of atmosphere to this game. Uh, now, restroom. I don't think it was in the restroom, was it? Or was it? Oh! No, it's not. No. You think that's an important thing there, but no. It's just some guts on the floor. We don't really care about a pile of guts on the floor. Okay. Right, there really isn't any other... Okay, doors here. I thought there was. Apparently there isn't. Uh, now... I guess we've got to go through here. Yeah, that's fine. Let's check the library out. Let's go through. Uh, and where the hell was that bust? I wish um, that sort of stuff was noted on the map. We're going the wrong way, aren't we? We are going the wrong way. Are we? I hate that. That camera transition right there. Ah, oh, it's horrible. Did we just get turned around? We did. Yeah, that camera angle there is so confusing. Okay. Right, that's more like it. Because we did waste quite a lot of ammo on her, I think. Good. 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 Like, I wonder what these bottles are that are plugged into these monsters. God, I want to know more. I want to know more, but I very much doubt we're going to get any more. Um, right, so the meeting room, and we've also got the sewing room there. Office. Was it the bedroom that had the statue thing in? Uh, no, it's possible that I'm like in totally the wrong area, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. Uh, where the hell was that? Wasn't I'm pretty sure it's not in the penthouse anywhere. There's no like little statues or anything. There's the lungs and the kids in jars. 
kid's bedroom. I don't think it was in the kid's bedroom. No. There's a clock there that we can't do anything with. Some very... No, uh, she's back. There's some very mournful music there, which I like. But there's definitely nothing useful in there yet. Let's go through here. Office. Uh, we have that. Yes, there it is. Okay, cool. Oop. I don't know how she put that in. Ah. Oh. Right. So that's going to be to do with this, isn't it? I guess. Although, that's probably going to take some fiddling, fiddling with. Yeah, I'm guessing that's what that's about. And it's going to take a little bit of fiddling with. We don't have time, so when we come back, we're going to have to work that one out. And uh, I'm going to have no time to record today. Because I have a social gathering, apparently. So, we're going to drop a save here, guys. And when we come back, hopefully we're going to actually be a little bit more productive next time. Seven. I mean, admittedly, this game doesn't seem like it would be that long. I reckon you really could bust this game out pretty quickly. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.